So the next one I'm going to talk about is the color adjust node. Again, this one this one's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. I have a I have a kettle here, and I've applied a camouflage texture to it. Um, I actually have let me let me delete this. Uh, there you go. So I'll apply that directly to my color, and you can see that it's the exact same. Um, and then now, if I want to do a uh, uh, color adjust node and I want to change the hue or colorize it and give it a tint. Again, same ways as before, right click the, the workspace, hit the node library from the drop down up here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and right click that utilities and we're going to do color adjust. So with color adjust selected, it is outlined in orange. On the right here, you have the properties and you have the color, which is currently input as the camouflage and you have your colorize option. So if I want to colorize it and give it a tint, I can just kind of hit that colorize button, come in here, and then anything that I, I drop over it is going to give it a tint in the color that I'd like to use. So if you're trying to tint something, that's a way to go about doing it. If I want to change the hue, you just jump over to this hue slider and like instantaneously you can just jump through a bunch of different hues. It's really nice that you don't have to go into Photoshop to create a new texture to, to drop this in here. Um, it's also nice because it works with the procedural textures as well. And if you want to desaturate something entirely or highly saturate it, you got that here, values of colors and then your contrast as well. So this is, this is a really cool node. I, I like this node because it just lets you do a bunch of little quick material variations. Um, so that, that's definitely something to consider if you're trying to do colorways or, or image operations.